Well, Scott, thanks for joining me today, mate. I've heard you're a shark at pool, is that right? Yeah, I played all the time when I was younger with my dad. We used to go yeah. playing snooker pool all the time, so... I've heard you're decent, though. You can't be decent? There. No. That's what the lads are telling I'm me. Not, that he's, I'm uh... not built for it. <laughs> When you're away in hotels so much, it's difficult to pass the time, isn't it? If we're, if we're away on, say, for in pre-season yeah. tour in America somewhere like that, there's all the lads playing cards and poker and stuff like that. Who's the worst loser? I'm a terrible loser. Oh, yeah. oh terrible. Like, if Look all my friends... That today. Oh, it's terrible. <laughs> nah, I don't lose today. Like. <laughs> <laughs> That's weak! There we go. <laughs> oh. Oh, my God. I think it could be. Wait, oh, does that God. not go in? Was your dad a player then, yeah? He's good, you know. Is he? He used to let me win whenever I was younger, and that's the worst thing you can do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> my dad never let me win anything. My, my temper was so bad because then he'd be like, oh, that was oh, it. Oh, really? Yeah, you got to let him win. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Told me through the Scotland qualifying and, and what it was like in Serbia when you, when, you, when you won. It was crazy, to be fair. We knew the magnitude of the game and how, how important it was for everybody. But we, you have to embrace that. You have to enjoy that feeling of, of representing your country and, and putting mm. your best performances uh, out there for them. So, yeah, yeah the penalties were, were, were a show anyway. With the importance of the game, when you step up and take the third penalty, what's going through your mind? It went really quick, you know. It wasn't like I was dwelling on what decision I was going to make with where I wanted to place my penalty or anything like that. It went so quick. The next thing I knew, we were all celebrating when Marshy saved the penalty. So, yeah, it was it was surreal, to be fair. I thoroughly enjoyed that. Any memories of Euro 96? 96. Scotland, yeah. England. I'm a, I'm a 96 born, so... <laughs> yeah, yeah. That makes me feel old. <laughs> oh. Oh. I, I had no idea what I was doing. <laughs> I just rolled it in now. Oh my word, what is going on here? Oh, I'm in the groove now. I'm in the groove. <laughs> I've finished the groove now. <laughs> Did you get stick playing for Scotland and having an English accent? Uh, not from the lads at Scotland, because there's a few lads with, with English accents and, yeah. and stuff like that, but from my mates at home, yeah, sometimes, you know, they, look, they always play on that one. Like, so you were at United as a young kid, yeah? I was five when we first go to Man United, well, I was just turned five, and then you go to school in Manchester with, like, all the scholars, and that's when you're 12. So, really, I moved away from home when I was 12 and lived in digs. But you played at youth level, didn't you? And, you, you know, you wanted to represent Scotland, and, you know... Yeah, you I went when to... I was 16, yeah. so I was, I was only a baby when I was 16. I was really small compared to fully grown men. Yeah. I'm getting in the car with my dad on the way home from games saying, like, how do I compete with these? But you just shot up all of a sudden, didn't you? Yeah, it was yeah. strange. I, I completely shot up when I was, like, 17, 18. Yeah, so I, I, I did the same thing, really. I shot up from, sort of, year... I was 10. And I kept shooting up till I was about 25. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been... <laughs> I just never stopped. <laughs> oh! That's lovely, isn't it? You can't commentate it's lovely isn't it, on your own shots, can you? <laughs> I tried in your mouth. Deserve that. <laughs> so I'm thinking if you score for Scotland, not against England, because I don't want you to celebrate. <laughs> but if you score, we, do you fancy doing a celebration for us? We can have a little think about some yeah. celebrations, yeah. Well, I was we... thinking about, because obviously we played poor, I was thinking about doing the old. Uh, Doing the um, you know this celebration, but then I'm worried about the action a little. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to be careful with the, the action, yes. Yeah. So maybe uh... we can get it like, like this, can't we? I'm thinking if you can get the corner, if you can grab the corner flag like this yeah. and just chalk it up when you're scoring the Euros. <laughs> That's the one. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Oh, it's lovely. Oh, it's lovely. I've got a feeling I'm wearing a waistcoat, like that. I did use to have this one in the locker, to be fair. Oh, crouchy. Oh, crouchy. <laughs> Showboating as well. <laughs> Forfeit for the loser. I've got to go home in this. You're going to get on the train in that? <laughs> <laughs> good luck at the Euros. I mean that. Uh, especially, you know, not with England, but good, good luck, mate. Thank you very much. Um, I hope it all goes well. Thanks so much for doing it. Appreciate it. That looks lovely. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, right. Take care, big man. Have a good one, mate. Honestly, lovely. See you in a bit. Highly embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs>